waves and make plays, but making the play itself, if it's defended properly by Axis, could be catastrophic. Yeah, in Orange Esports, you, you look at the spells that they took for the, uh, for the heroes, there's only Flame one Flameshot, Flameshot for Valor. <laughs> but uh, more importantly, or more uh, strikingly, is the Fall Flicker. And Fall Flicker, mm. if, you, if you look at the abundance of Flicker, it instantly uh, curse you that, hey, this is what Holdout did previously as well. Uh, with their playstyle, it synergizes as well with their playstyle. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 second gaming plus, they put the export on that um, to replace the marksman. Even though right now they have a Bruno, I think Orange can still do the same thing. Where you just build Welcome up full damage, right? To mobile the build Legends. Yeah. The build last axe, BOD. BOD, Five yeah, yeah, yeah. seconds till the enemy maybe reaches hunter, the battlefield. Uh, maybe, maybe Smash them! Smart, maybe, I guess, but. Uh, All troops deployed! Does he want that? I think he can go for like a second BOD if he wanted to. If, well, but that's just purely items. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Let's look at the way that they opened up here. Thamos as well as Valier going to the top side. Oh, oh here we go. It's Aaron. a hard read. They hard read it. They knew they were going to the top side. They will punish this. Chakpu is going to be the first one to go down. And Eren is going to be the second one potentially. But I think Evil X has to back away from this. Yeah, they made, they had the Rafaela there as well. Last it was ready. So the way you're running away if you don't have Flicker or if you don't have a, a, any more power mobility. So the first one going away, Chakpu with flame shot used as well, but not able to uh, get out. So unfortunate for Orange Esports, but not too much of a loss. I think losing their ballot that early on is kind of okay, since his start is always is always slower than it is. Yeah, but he is playing the mid mage role this time. Yeah, right. I think right. he is. Look. Or is he? Or is he just making sure that Thamos? Yeah, he's just okay. supporting Thamos. He's not going as a mid mage. He's making sure that Bruno gets as much farm as he can while keeping Thamos alive using x -Boy. So they're basically playing uh, a 1-3-1 one, one call. They didn't actually dive for this game hit level balls that camp got reset so slightly unlucky. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, felt, I felt really bad for that. I was like, ooh. He's gonna hit level 4 regardless. So, he, I mean, he was like a one tick away from level 4, so it didn't really matter too much. But I feel like Oris East was, with, with, just with this particular move, I think they're trying to force things a bit too hard, but we'll see. Flames are coming out, all members of Orange East are going to dive on the two last they get kicked back by that Bruno. We pull back great maneuver on the error to utilize that oh. dive and that will be a double kill for the Bruno. I just I felt like I just heard like Orange Esports' is now just being like, oh, Silo is like, hmm, you hungry boy? You, you, you want some more? Get yeah. another one, here's another one. Evil X is placed on a platform, but luckily the flicker is able to save it this time. But Look at Mal, he is huge! Two kills already on a very early oriented hero who scales later into the game. It's gonna be a tough one! Yeah, that retra retraction of the Sai is one of those moments where your whole team just go, ooh, <laughs> while you feed the kills to the carry. <laughs> oh boy, Mal must be the happiest boy right now. It's like, oh my god, Eren did us on me. Yeah, and now Axis Esports on the other hand, getting a very good trade on the silo, and that's kind of the beauty of Drawhead right now, where he can find Finally, go toe to toe, get some of the stronger, uh, the stronger off laners like you know the Thalos. Even though it's still pretty bad, it's not as bad as you can get. Oh no, Chaku again is caught out one more time. He slowed a little bit too long, but he cannot try anything because he just doesn't have the spells to get Turtle out. Resurrecting yeah, I mean, if you're running soon. a draft like Orange Esports, you cannot just put your mage right in front mm -hmm. with no one to protect him at all. I think the best insurance that they have is probably the Cho. Flame shot almost connects onto Mal, so luckily for this show he will survive that. But Kaiser X is just having a lot of fun, forcing the last ah. seventy. No fear of armor what? for Silo. What? Oh, I guess he didn't want to get ejected backwards and then get run down. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have the fear armor, so he might as well just break the fear armor early. Okay, okay, I, I understand what's going on there. I was like, hmm, very interesting out there. <laughs> yeah, okay. something's up. We need to create distance. We need to create a layout. I a think if, if we allow that fear armor to be to be broken, I think he, dies, he would yeah. have died because Kaiser had that ultimate. But we see Mom can do anything that EJ actually misses, so he gives Mom where the dragon keeps him back. But is there follow up uh, though? I don't think there is. Mm -hmm. They just want to zone on the jaw head to secure that bottom tier one. Yeah, I think there is a little bit of miscommunications coming in from Orange Esports right now. I mean, er, okay, yeah, that's, that's, good, good. Good. that's some that's some big boy energy right there. <laughs> but he defended the tier one though. Ah, uh, uh, wow, know. wow, okay, sure. And now they continue to push forward. They're moving on to steal, may potentially steal this blue buff. Mom is by himself. He still has third hit show. Sure. He's gonna get out of there. I actually ah. like what they're doing, and he flickers away. Then they try to chase onto him. No, last society comes down. Side of a bit. I say the inject last couple of force. They follow up. That's this one. They claim two hits at once. 
and always e spot. They're not gonna be able to do anything else. They will lose that tier one for sure this time. Yo, I hate watching this. I'm gonna admit it here. I hate because both teams don't seem that, like they want to commit to something here. Like Orange Esports is getting punished so so much here, I, it, and it, and Axis Esports they're basically waiting for Orange to be to make these mistakes. Like Orange isn't really committed to anything. Honestly, they're playing the hokey pokey. They're sticking their right foot in. They're sticking their right foot out, and then yeah. they yeah they, they, they turn around. And they're like, come on, like commit to something here. Yeah, Eris is gonna get told on again, and he's not gonna make this out. And it, it feels like Orange Esports have. It feels like Orange East will have a have a glass of hot water in front of them, and they're just sticking their finger in. Like, is, is this cold enough? Is it warm enough? Do we want to come in? I, I don't want to say that they, these two teams don't know what they're doing, but it just looks so clowny that it's almost hilarious at some points where Orange East will, they're, you're not supposed to make this kind of mistake. Yeah, I think, it, personally, I think it has to be a communication because everyone seems to be on a different page. Oh, uh, now it's going to yeah. He doesn't have the slide tack away. He's actually cutting it out pretty, pretty well. Ooh. He win the dragon. Oh my goodness, Kaiser X dies instantaneously and Mouse keeps himself alive. My god, the chain CC coming in from Orange Esports was perfect. I guess they heard our comment. And they're gonna go for more. Last it tries to make it out. And he not gonna be able to survive. Yes, that kill, but Kimi secures a kill onto the top with a 2 for 1. You know, say, uh, Amado's Love is definitely the strongest force in, in the world. So, Mom, saving that Bruno for Channel now. But resurrecting soon. They're not out of the woods just yet. And I think Orange Esports still has a lot to, to fix in, in, in the span. For five to ten minutes because they don't have much in the series. Yeah, um, so at least the goal is even. I think what we can say for sure is that Orange Esports can fight. When they see an opportunity, they will absolutely take it. And it's kind of on access to play defensively until Orange Esports, because of the inexperience of some of their players, getting caught out, making some odd decisions, and they just instantly punish it. Yeah. And it is where the pressure is on Sayo's shoulder because yeah. he is the veteran, he is the leader, and he's. He needs to lead this this team to beat Axis Esports. Who are trying to make a really big statement. So, and, and you can see that the clear dysfunctional um, move that they made and let oh. them being punished. Sido has a lot on his plate, and they're gonna lose Mom to this as well. So unfortunate right there. And Sido X finds the eject. They will lose Aaron. So two more kills to Axis Esports. Okay. So I can understand why Mom died. I cannot understand why Aaron decided to join him. <laughs> I, I can understand because Mom was buying some time for the rest of his team to say, "Hey, you can you can potentially take this guy out if we sacrifice one for one, even though we're slightly behind. We're doing a really good job here. Good decision being made. They don't get the kill. Whatever. You lose one person, a thousand gold, a thousand gold difference. Not too big of a deal until Aaron is like, we need to get this kill. Yeah, and you if you run four flicker, you have to keep in mind that it's one of the most valuable valuable spells that you have." Mm -hmm. But you have to make it account. You have to get kills whenever it's online. They are not using it in the way that it should be. Mando is gonna commit with that auto immediately. Where's the follow-up? Oh, oh, no, last is standing. They finally kill on the Raphaela. Silo flickers out. This is what they should be doing. Yeah, really nicely done. Mom was trying to make a play. They follow up with the play. And I can say this was flawlessly done. However, Axis was ready for it. They all, all of their cores pulled back. The backline did not want to deal with the damage that Silo can actually pop out. This allowed Eren to get a huge push up in the top lane, and they're going to buy time. Yeah, and this is what they should have been doing a couple of minutes ago, but Channel. as of now, oh, Swap is yes. oh, so connect onto Eren, and now Eren forced to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kaiser X, and is going to do that evil, a bit of taunt and toss him back into oh, the bullet no. god like for wow. the me with the maximum charge, and ooh, actually Esports feeling really confident right now. Yeah, I mean, Kaiser Z, Kaiser X was just so confident that he wasn't going to die. He's like, I'm not going to use my ejection just yet. Like, I'm going to give this kill over. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Kimmy, come on over here. Come on Toss over it here. into the <laughs> death zone, I mean, that was perfect. Uh, to the maximum effect, yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see how they want to play this out from here. Uh, from here. As Orange Esports needs to play a little bit more defensively, because they don't, they're, they're starting to lose quite a big lead here. 5k is... It's big, but not so much till it's impossible to come back. And and this is where the 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 pressure the newer players on the orange esports side have to not let this get into their head. Sure, the emos can come out. Sayo needs to take command of the situation right now because if not, X E can just punish them, and Aaron might be the first target instead of taken down by the Kimmy. Legendary win for X E Sports. 
Yeah, so far the experience has showed up. A lot of the smaller mistakes made by Orange Esports was just being impatient, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. You can see a lot of them don't have that experience just yet. I think they are really good at fighting and coordinating the fights when they, you know, all, all are on the same page. But besides that, I think Axis right now, they're winning just surely off of experience. They're not making crazy plays. All they're doing is playing defensively and scaling. Yeah, something something that's a switch off for Orange Esports because this is... This just feels completely different from the team that was playing game 1 And they won't have the opportunity to do that anymore Because of the, the big deficit that they have right now Axis Esports gonna push yeah. that inhibitor turret immediately While I'm trying to make something happen for Best Eject the back was we'll see if they can make something else again oh. And then the flicker, they found a Kimi but they need to kill him off immediately Last night it comes Shut inside and will get the kill No, he goes over to Bruno but it's still something that Orange Esports can hold on to Can they get one of Aaron is afraid he will get taken down One oh, oh, for oh, Mom and this is Orange Esports to turn this around Triple kill for Mom, can he go for low? Oh, one last yeah. one, he scores the goal, he gets the Maniac oh, And Orange Esports will get the team wipe as I said, these guys can fight. They are very capable, and they peeled off from Mouse so, so well. Like, nobody could get on top of this Bruno. He's 7 and 1. He's an absolute monster. Look, he's doing 1.7k worth of crit damage per kick, potentially. Yeah, and Mom was definitely the MVP in that fight. Doesn't coordinate with his team, goes straight in with that flicker. You can see that he was so confident. Catches out the Kimi. Face him off, Silo, the captain, great experience, follows up. Bruno, Mao was just completely protected, yeah. and Eren as well survived for longer than he should have. But look at Mao, look at Mao, yeah. he's just getting free hits, free hits, next one, another one, another one, and another Mao survived. Ah, oh, what a beast, what an absolute beast. Looks like Mao is showing up pretty hard here. He is, even though he has failed a couple of times, that has not discouraged him from, again, trying to look for the way of the dragon. And this is why when you take Flicker, these are the things that you can make, because if you look at uh, Axis Esports aside, they only have two Flickers, and those two Flickers don't really matter too much, because one is on the drop, and the other one is on the jawhead, whereas for Orange Esports, you can just make all those plays, and Mom is kicking into high gear, pushing Cho to his limits, and now with that first Lord, they can actually look to break at least that inhibitor turret. Yeah, because honestly, if Mom, he needs to keep on pushing for these advantages, and Mom, he's trying to go for it again, he's trapped! But the back line is in trouble, Silo, they're all trapped, they have to get away, the Guardian's barrier have blocked Mom and Silo's escape route, and now, Tizer X is in the back line, he's gonna try a 1v4, oh my god, big damage coming in from Axis Esports, they pull away, my god, that one injector was absolutely ridiculous, as they push on forward, and look to turn this around, it's becoming a much more even game than we first anticipated, and... Luckily for Orange Esports, they were able to secure that inhibitor turret, so they even out uh, the the structural deficit for themselves. Now both teams, one inhibitor turret uh, gone from the map. But of course, I think they slightly overcommitted a bit. They could be slightly more patient because Mom diving like that, the idea was correct, but he was doing it without flicker, so there was no cash potential. Axis Esports punished them with Kaiser S coming in from uh, flanking from behind. Mm -hmm. It's lucky for Orange Esports that they did not lose Mao because I think Axis yeah. would have went for the juggler if they did. You have to give it to Evil X. That was really great, really well timed Nature's Barrier because it caught him just before he was able to get out and he pushed it just enough so that once he used the shoot pole, he wasn't able to escape. So that really well done for Evil X here. But right now, Mom needs to, again, even though it was a very ambitious attempt, he needs to make it happen again. He gets Kaiser X this time. He needs to make the same mistake. Last Insanity to finish him off, but the rest of the team is going to try and disengage here as Ranger is going straight. Straight on in, Wolf is absolutely ridiculous here! Why is they summed in? Oh no, he pulls in a Kimmy and now one shot him! Goes for the second one! I wanna go for the third though, no, away! Roll! Almost goes down, has to use the purify! Does anybody have a flame shot? Nobody has a flame shot! One time. more! Not able to get the kill on this Granger, but now it's a 4 versus 2. Gra and Granger, can they defend against this onslaught from Orange Esports? Holy cow! Oh. Flicker again! It's, it's Mom's Flicker! Bottom is pushing in though. They have to end it right there. there. Somebody has to go back and defend. Yeah, base race. They got go for Evo no, X. No, no, nearly no, no, Evo no, X. No, no. The dash away now. Charlie no, no, has no. respawned. Someone has to defend the base. Either that or they close out the game. And Orange Esports, they decide to pull back. Yeah, they see it happening. It's like, oh, okay. Thomas is coming back up. We can be aggressive again. Woo! Everything's all under control. Everything's fine. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. It's like, We haven't reached that point. But right now, Axis and Orange Esports, they're pushing it to 14 minutes. I should have thought one of the teams would have been able to do it, but they've made some great comebacks here. And a lot of it has, you have to get credit to Orange's turn. 
to mom, basically. Yeah, and mom, I think catching how jaw hit just now was okay, but you have to keep your eyes specifically on the Kimi because Kimi has absolutely no flicker, mm -hmm. no purify. You kill him off, the green tip becomes a slightly tr uh, less threatening because the jaw hit it is it's just a null factor at this point. Yeah, the only time you can make a difference if he if he gets a flank or he managed to eject someone into the team, which I feel like Orange Esports ha already has that Lord, check. resurrecting yeah. soon! And I think also that it, it's much harder for Mom to do, I mean... It's, when you're looking at care, uh, when you're looking at taking out a carry hero, especially for the marksman, Rin in this situation, he has chemical refinement. He has chemical refinement to get back out of there, okay? He's got flame shot, which has knockback and deals a lot of damage. So he has to time his Shunpo so carefully, his team's weak, Arms are heavy, palms are sweaty, but he still needs to feed Mal that mom spaghetti if they want to win this. <laughs> yeah, you like that? I, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, I said, I said, I said, that pause was making me really unsettled. Like, <laughs> yes, I, I do. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to fit, uh, follow up with the rest of it, but hopefully, Orange East will not lose themselves in this one since they are getting ready to contest that second floor. So, Silo has to address Kaiser X in the top lane. We have a 4 remote situation for now, and Mom is just going to be the body bag right now. Mm -hmm. He's going to go on scouting duty, he's going to make sure that Axis e don't get the Lord. And it's going, it's going to get really intense, but Silo is dealing with his jaw head, who will pre, uh, preemptively rotate to the rest of his team. And if they see Silo missing, jaw is just going to continue pushing in because the wave is crashing. Can they not find? Can they not find? Can jaw head not take this mid wave and then either push back top or flank? But you know what? Never mind. As the rest of the team pulls down back, Axis Esports again hovering over this Lord. Nobody is getting it, and everybody's too scared to pull the trigger because the main carries can actually come flanking. Because getting hit by Last Insanity now is going to hurt more than ever. Yeah, and keep your eyes on the initiative of Orange Esports again. Particularly, Mom, all battle spells are up. One thing, four flickers on the side of Orange Esports. And if there's anyone who can pull the trigger and make something out of it, it's definitely Orange Esports. Grady is now not with uh, not with the team, so Orange Esports, if they identify that they can actually just jump on someone. I was wondering what he was doing there, I was like, oh yeah, River Sentinel, River Sentinel's a thing now. <laughs> I keep wondering, I was like, why is he just hovering there at the corner by the river? It makes no sense. <laughs> Axis Esports now making the better macro decision, they're gonna push in that middle wave to force Orange Esports into a bad position. And we'll see what Axis Esports has to do. The, the tango at Lord is over, now they're gonna bring the dance towards both the middle and the top lane. Yeah, and uh, considering how many fights Orange Esports has turned, Axis is, you know, respecting them a lot more now. They're giving them the space that they need to kind of like, they can walk, but they can't walk too far, you know? Mom, in such a good spot, but it's spotted out by the Rafaela. That's sad. Ah, yeah, I could get a bit of pick off, but see, Evo X now, his turn to zone out Orange Esports, but he is overheated by the x -Borg. So you gotta be really careful with two damage is there. Mom trying to go for an engage but decides against that for now. The team isn't ready. Yeah, and it, all the poke because of Rafael, uh, because of Rafael, all the poke really isn't making too much of a difference. Like Mal can get one auto win and it's not gonna matter because oh, Rafael is just gonna heal them back up to full and then they have to do this process all over again. And X is Esports, they identify three members of Orange Esports on the map uh, uh, away from the war pit. Mal? Actually, that's down the Lord. Lord actually was reset, so he gives Orange Esports oh, a bit oh. more space, but you guys gonna see Mal. So Mal has to get out of there as he's for now. The majority of the control over Lord. What do you. Uh huh? Yes, what? Wait, why did. Wait, wait. Wait, I thought they would I thought Mal would have. I thought Mal would have committed a little bit harder onto the Lex there, but I guess not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine here. Uh, Top side is a little bit of a scuffle, but x is very nearby to respond to this. Yeah, I want X. I was expecting Xs e to, to fully commit to the Lord uh, after the first reset because Bruno wasn't in a position and Mom had. Basically, no damage to steal the Lord unless it is that unfortunate. I just realized they don't have retribution. Nobody has retribution in this game, and that's why nobody can actually look to take Lord away safely. This is. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Game 3, baby! But game 3! But Rin getting gone on my side of side with a fire stake. Last is Sandy, not dead. Dragon against Dawson. He's dead. Immortality, though. Eren as well. Three immortalities for Orange Esports. Axis Esports are being pushed back. Silo. Slowly retreat. Now they're already sort of reclaiming uh, territory around the Lord Pit, but I, I, gonna... I feel yeah, that circus show has 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 not ended. This is the finale. Yeah, both teams don't want to commit to anything. They're just stacking up items. But honestly, Axis Esports is in prime position to win, only because they can complete 
they can out poke orange esports. As long as they keep poking orange esports, Lost in Skills is going to be like, alright, it's going to be three heals all day. See, Silo's armor is broken. He's not going to get that back. This is your time. Yeah, this is where you fully commit to the Lord and not worry about Silo coming in and then doing damage. Orange Esports are actually so far away from the Lord that if Exit's Esports caught wind of that, they would just start the objective immediately. But they're just playing a bit too safe. Maybe maybe for their own good, but Aaron now, very exposed, has the immortality, but there's no way he can kill off Rin and Kaiser X combined. He has to play good to safety, and he just went Orange Esports, pull the trigger, last it, needs to get out, but Mom is on him, and they kill the ref, yeah, like that's one kill for Orange Esports. They lose the diamonds, but they might get more Evos, not able to survive that, has the immortality, the second life will bring him back, but he will be shut down by Mal. And the only thing keeping Axis Esports alive is that Jawhead yep. cutting the wave. Yep, and I think Jawhead right now should run down bot, push that out as quickly as possible. Oh no, he's wasted too much time! He ran, he tried to run to the top side of the map, he didn't consider it, and now they're gonna lose Lord while he has that push. It's pointless now. The rest of the team of Axis Esports, they cannot disrespect uh, Orange Esports Reborn anymore because they're just stronger in terms of their team fight. They oh no! Rex! Rex, he tried to no! assassinate the Bruno! Uh, he will be kicked back, found out, but Silo uh, last steady. There we go, Kaiser X down to the grave. Axis Esports, they are crumbling. 50 seconds on that jaw hit. But the base, the base, Orange Esports, they made it back in time. Oh boy. Oh man, that's just so, so unfortunate. Because right now, the main sources of damage from both sides is coming from their marksman. Ranger is doing an absolute phenomenal job, as well as Kimmy as well, but she is start she has already started to scale off a lot. She is just finishing people off, chunking them out, but now that people have started to de develop items that have inbuilt magic resist, like the Athena shield most importantly, that's going to be able to tank so much more damage. You can already see it. Almost ha already has the Queen's Rings as well as the Athena Shield. He's not going to go down super fast, but it's going to be good enough to hold his own. And this is why Rin went for the Divine Glade instead. A bit of switch up from the itemization just for slightly more damage on his eSports Pro. What? Second Lord not able to achieve anything from that. Did nobody want to push him? Alright, sure. No I was surprised no one was pushing bottom lane as well. You at least get something back, but I, I think bot will break naturally. I feel like top should have been pushed in a little bit more. I, I need to see the replay again just to see whether it was doable. But right now, Silo, again, very, very tanky. He's healing as much as he can. Viraga armor breaks, but no one is there to commit. And now they want to break with those two siege turrets oh. to break this top side. Silo and they do this! Silo it's it's a kid pickle! Oh. They found no! Win! He, he was kicked back and he attacked actually stopped the bomb from doing the pickoff! And you will lose that first by Bud Tyson! Oh, that is a big goal from Orange Esports and Axis Esports. They might lose this off now. Double kill might go for more. Orange Esports, they are looking for a juggler. All three lanes pushing in their favor. They are pulling themselves back from the brick of defeat. And they will snatch it away from Or Axis Esports. Orange, close out. 2-1. That was a really good series. That was a really good series. And I think it taught a lot of... Uh, it